going on, man? CGA Got Game in here, boys, with a little bit of MLB The Show. I always say I'm going to play a whole season, but probably not. But anyway, I played a whole season before, and we got some girl out here throwing the first pitch for the game. But anyway, I don't even know who that is, and that was, I guess, a decent pitch. But I played a whole season before, and uh, I can't remember if I documented it or not, but it was a very, very hard thing to do. Anyway, Drew Smiley up for the Chicago Cubs, and we are at Wrigley Field with them boys. All right, and Freddie Freeman taking it in between the gap between the right field gap and center field. And that's going to be a base hit. And I'm going to just let you guys know, man, my bats are getting hot after playing a few games, man, with not a lot of runs. Very boring. But Mookie bats up early in the first inning, and he takes it all the way over to the left field and over the wall, gone. And that is Mookie Betts's, I don't know how many home runs for the season, but boy, do we like Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. He's a great defender, and he can get the bat going. We got 405 feet over the left field wall, and our boy Will Smith is up to follow with two outs in the bottom of the first inning and top of the first inning, and that's going to be in the left field gap between the center field, and the center fielder is going to throw it all the way over to the relay man before Will Smith picks up a double. And the bats are hot. That's the fifth double of the year, if I'm not mistaken. My eyes do deceive me. And we have J.D. Martinez up, hitting it right back to the pitcher. Pitcher doesn't know where to go, but he's going to go back to first base for the routine play. And that's the smart play. And that's Mookie Betts up top of the first inning in Chicago on the north side. And that's going to be a 2-0 lead for the Doyers. Let's get it going. And as you can see, on the mound for us is Clayton Kershaw. He's got four starts, 3-0 and for the season. And this is going to be a longer game because he has a long delivery, whether he has a runner on first base or not. So as you can see, he's set up here. He goes above the head, glove above the head, and he gets settled in. And that's going to make for a long game for us. But that's all right. Here go the highlights. Chicago Cubs up, and that's going to drop in. But in front of the center fielder, and that's going to bring runners around. And this is still a runner around there. Doesn't hit the relay, man. And that's a little too late. Too little too late. Chicago Cubs get a run from a double. RBI from Swanson. And Kershaw is looking to bitch. Throws one in the dirt. And look at us. Sleep on the defensive end. And almost, almost got him out there. Throw a ball in the dirt. And he runs for the bag. And he gets it. Take a look at this cluster. F on defense, ball in the dirt, and we almost throw him out. Look at that. That was, that might have been, that might have been out. But anyway, Blue calls him safe, and that's going to keep a little bit of pressure up here right now with a runner on first and second base, Clayton Kershaw, in an early jam, and he's known to give up runs, but here you go with a 6 4 3. Double play for the Dodgers, and that's going to end the inning in the threat, but not after Swanson brings in. An RBI double to get the Cubbies on the board. All right, so here we go right now. We're having a good season and all of that. So anyway, what do we got coming up here? Up to bat is going to be Chris Taylor. And Chris Taylor's having a good, phenomenal year. I didn't even see the stats, but he's having a phenomenal year. I just know from my gameplay. Ball is put right there in front of the right fielder, and it's going to be down for a single from Chris Taylor. And I'm going to tell you, man, I'm hitting my bats up because I'm tired of playing games 3-2, two, 2-1, two, one, one, two, and that's going to be a single by Chris Taylor. And I think J.D. Martinez has got a hitting streak that we want to keep alive somewhere around 20 games. I have no idea. The big hitter, Max Muncy, is up. If they're going to check it, Chris Taylor. Want to get a little sneaky around here, but he doesn't. But Max Muncy is positioned in that bat. And the pitcher has a long time to think about this, and he's going to throw it right there over the plate and a strike. All right, 0-1 pitch coming up. And uh, runner on first base, Chris Taylor on first base. Max Muncy is set up to hit, and bam! <laughs> over the right field wall onto the scoreboard, or is that the roster board? And that's going to be a home run by Max Muncy and Smiley. It's not smiling right now. That's the fifth home run from Max Muncy, and that's going to put the Dahlia's up 4-1, to one, and Max Muncy is known 
to be able to deliver that type of power. All right, take a look at this. He steps right into it, and he looks to deliver the perfect swing, and all the Cubs fan stands up and admires. Max Muncy hitting it 431 feet all the way out to the Wrigley Field roster wall. All right, no outs, and that's going to be a hit back to the pitcher. It hits the pitcher, it looks like, and no play is going to be made to the first base by Trace Thompson. And Chris Smiley is struggling right now. We got to run on first. 4-1 lead with no outs. And you got Miguel Rojas up here looking to make a play. And that's a pitch right over the plate. And it's going to be another single. And that's going to be two runners on. And the Dodgers are getting those bats heating up. And Trace Thompson's all the way over on second base. Man, I'm going to tell you right now. Playing a season is very long and lengthy. I was just very exhausting. You had to play multiple games in a day, and I just don't have the schedule, so I'm going to have to figure this out. Austin Barnes up. All right, and Austin Barnes hits it, and that's going to be a double play, but that moves Trace Thompson over to third base with two outs. So there's a 6-3 double play. Not too bad. And I think I got the last double play wrong, but anyway, baseball fans are losing their mind, all two of you watching the game. But it doesn't matter. We got Freddie Freeman up, who was already one for one. And what do we got looking up here? We're looking to see if we can get the ball to the outfield. And that's a good eye by Freddie Freeman, way to the outside. And he's patient, exhibiting patience that only an all-star like Freddie Freeman can have. And, yes, I'm considering a career in broadcasting. Anyway, voice over time, Freddie Freeman slaps it down past the third baseman who seemed to be picking his nose or something like that. He didn't get that. He should have had it, but that drives in the run for the L.A. Dodgers. That is definitely going to be a single for Freddie Freeman. With Mookie Betts back up after hitting that home run, and it looks like they're going to hit it to the shortstop, and that's going to end the inning. Not before getting one run on the board, and we're going to skip ahead to the top of the fourth inning because that's what type of game this is. Muncie, Max Muncie hits it into the left field, and he gets it down for a single, and he is two for two with a home run of about 450 feet, very impressive. And the bats are smoking. The bats are smoking for the Dodgers today, man, and this gives me confidence to continue to play. And by the way, if you wanted to know what level I was on, I am on veteran. Not veteran plus, veteran. All right, Trace Thompson gets a hold of this one. He's going to knock it all the way out, and it's going to go over the right fielder's head. That's going to bring everybody around, and that's going to stop him right there with the fourth inning. Top of the fourth inning, no outs. And the pitcher, John Smiley, I think his name is John, is in a bit of a jam. So this is the 10th double for it looks like for Trace Thompson and Mookie. uh, Mookie. Miguel Rojas, Rojas, I got it all wrong, with a single. Well, I'm messing all of that up. But anyway, who cares? Uh, Miguel Rojas doesn't reach first base, but he drives in a run. So that's an RBI. And uh, that's going to be it for Smiley. All right, it's time to go, man. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. He out of here, man. And that's going to bring in another pitcher for the Gubbies. And that's going to be Adrian Sampson, who's already appeared in six games. He's 1-0. He's got a couple of saves. But that's Clayton Kershaw still on the mound. And that's going to be a pitch. And gets a hold of it. And take a look at this play by Rojas. He may not have got that single. And he drove in the RBI. But look at that defensive play. Look at that defensive play, man. Take a look by the stat cast from Google Cloud. I don't know why I'm doing advertisement for them. But take a look at this. Off the foot and accurately past the stretch arm of. Let me see here. What do we got here? Look at that. Yeah, that is Rojas. All right, I want to make sure I identified him. Take a look at that leap. Take a look at that. Gather in the glove. Rip it out of there. Pass it over to first base. Okay. All right. And uh, here we are still. With a strikeout of Suzuki and your boy, Clayton Kershaw, is making it happen for the Dodgers. Take a look at that. He's walking with confidence, and he's got plenty of runs behind his back, all right? With five-run lead, he can do a lot more out there and sit down and relax on that mound. Headed to the top of the fifth inning, Will Smith up to bat and Yaga, all right? Over the left field wall for another Dodger home run, man. The bats are hot and that's uh adrian samson is none too pleased right there that is uh the third home run for will smith which is a shocker but that's going to bring the dodgers 
another run in Wrigley Field. And let me tell you, man, we are rolling out here. He's feeling himself. Pause. But take a look at his hit. He got that, and it was a little bit early, but that's 429 feet all the way into the outfield bleachers. And take a look at Samson. He is beside himself. He's irate. All right, definitely irate. Max Muncy up two for two so far in this game in the top of the fifth inning with one runner on and two outs and Max Muncy strikes out. All right, it happens, man. I show you the good and the bad. All right, but what about this? This is going to be roped down to the left field. Bounce cameras off the wall. Does not hit the relay, man, and it's going to be too late as the second baseman has to jump off the bag and not make a tag on the play. So Swanson, who has already, I believe, hit uh, a pretty critical hit earlier in the day, he gets another double, and that's going to make Chicago a scoring threat with the uh, scorer on, well, there's a scorer at the home plate, and that's going to be gone. <laughs> Chicago Cubs with a home run, man, and what looks like an insurmountable lead at 7-1, to one, all of a sudden, we got a game. Seven to three for the Dodgers, and it's only a matter of time before they get on the board and get a little bit of confidence. We woke up the sleeping giant, and I don't know why I'm showing you this entire home run trot. This is ridiculous. All right, this is despicable and reprehensible, and it's disgusting. J.D. Martinez is back up here in the top of the seventh inning, and he hits it between the shortstop and the third base. Coming around, it's nothing. Runner stops at second base, but that's going to be a threat. J.D. Martinez, is this a hidden streak? Man, we got to get an update on the hitting streak because I think he had one and they didn't give us one. But take a look at this. Why are we watching this replay? But it doesn't matter. Maybe because, man, it went right between two gloves and that's going to get two runners in scoring position. And we got Chris Taylor up 8-3 at this time and good eye, good eye, good eye. All right, we got a new pitcher in, by the way. He's feeling himself, of course, after scoring some runs. And we still got one out. Chris Taylor, what you going to do, bunt? What are you going to do, man? He got a hold of that one, and that might go all the way to the left field wall, and it, it's it gone. It is gone, all right? That is a home run for the Dodgers. Another home run. All right, can you believe this? The, the, the pitcher's disgusting, and that's going to be a long home run, and I don't know if these statistics are right. They're telling me what, what number are they putting up there because that's definitely not the first home run of the year, man. We've been playing 16, 20 games already. All right, but that's none of anyone's business right now. I don't know what number that represents, but Chris Taylor gets a hold of that, and he started running to the bag, but that's a three-run shot, 380 feet into the basket, to the basket right there in the outfield. And now the fourth picture. That's going to be Julian Merriweather makes his appearance for the Cubbies. All right, Max Muncy is up, and it's still one out here at the top of the seventh. Max Muncy looking to get two home runs today. I don't know, man. He founds it off to the left. And that's going to give him another pitch. 0-1 pitch coming up for Merriweather. And it is Merriweather outside for the Cubs right now. But Max Muncy jumps. Man, let me tell you something. The Cubs pitchers are taking L's today. All right, four pitchers. We got five home runs. Is that number five? I can't. I can't keep count. I can't keep count. But what are these numbers? These players definitely got four home runs in this. I know Chris Taylor already hit a home run. But anyway, maybe I'm wrong. With the slow trot around the bases, that's Max Muncy's sec second home run of the game. And that's going to put the Dodgers up 12-3. to three. I told you them bats were starting to get hot. And I only wanted to show you the game with the hot bats. It doesn't make sense to show you games that, you know, we don't score until the bottom of the ninth. Through 395 feet for a combined total of 800 and some odd feet. All right, there you go right there. There's your difficulty. Uh, veteran difficulty just for the people who did want to know. Thought I was playing some other stuff. But we get a hit all the way to the wall in between the right fielder and the center fielder. And he looks like he's going to go for three. Uh, he pulls up for two. And that's Trapes Thompson with another double tonight. Another double. And they send 11. All right. Shout out to uh, Trace Thompson getting those balls out. Balls. All right. There's uh, Rojas drops in front of him. And that's going to keep the runner from scoring around, and he stays at third base, but Moroja stretches it out for a bloop single for the Dodgers. And are you still watching this video? All right, this is one of the longer videos for my game, and it looks like Austin Barnes, who was substituted for somebody, 
hits it to the outfield. And Trust Thompson tags up, and he's going to bring it around and score again for the Dodgers. Man, look, don't turn this game off. This game's exciting. Trust me, this game's very exciting. All right, we got 13-3. to three. And the reason why I like to play these games is because why not? All right, up the bat is Freddie Freeman. All right, acquired from the Atlanta Braves after winning the World Series, and he's looking to bring a series, World Series, to the Dodger. All right. A ball thrown low and to the outside, complete miss, and Freddie Freeman shows good eye and restraint. Freddie Freeman does not that time, and he hits it right back to the pitcher to end the inning, the nightmare inning for that pitcher. And there you go right there, Chris Taylor turning those hips and swinging the bat, and that's going to be swinging for the fences. 13 runs, 20 hits, two home runs in this inning, Max Muncy and uh, Chris Taylor. So, anyway, we're at the bottom of the seventh in another marathon game. Take a look at this. Stretches out, knocks it down. Let's see if he can get it, and it's going to be too late. But that was a great defensive effort over there at third base and score a decision. Is it a base hit? It's a base hit, and uh, we couldn't get it there in time. But a great effort, man. You got to not knock the failure, the, the try down. Oh, difficult situation to handle here, and it's handled very relatively easy. And it looks like, uh, you know, you have to congratulate your pitcher, for being able to run over there and throw that out. And we hold the runner at third base and advancing forward with two outs. Clayton Kershaw in a little bit of a jam, I would say. Looking to deliver the ball with his left-hand delivery, and it goes up, and that's going to bring some runs in for the Cubbies. That might bring in two. And Trey Thompson gets the glove, ball out of the glove, and just opts to throw it to second base. All right, no need to throw out an elbow or a shoulder trying to make that play. There were going to be two people scoring. It is 13 to 5, and if you haven't been paying attention, what previously was a blowout has turned into kind of a game, if you will. Clayton Kershaw's got to get out of this jam, and let's see what happens here. Here's the pitch, the delivery, and that's a strike. All right, listen. All right, Darby, is this, that his name, Swanson? He's been having a game of his life, and we got that runner there. Clayton Kershaw looking to keep the confidence, and... <laughs> Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Swanson is having the game of his life. That is a home run. A two-run shot, and it wasn't a moonshot, but that is the second home run of the game, if I'm not mistaken for him, and the second home run for the Cubbies. Maybe the first. Who cares? All right, so anyway, this is going to be one of those games I can see, man, will look like an insurmountable lead has turned into a very, very competitive game with about two innings left, so the game is not over. 13-7. The Dodgers, we need to get somebody out of the game, and that's going to be Clayton Kershaw going to have a seat, the manager coming out, and not a bad performance here. But, you know, listen, Clayton Kershaw, he can strike people out. He is powerful, but he does give up mad runs. He does give up mad runs, but that's neither here nor there. We're going to bring in one of the relievers, Caleb Ferguson, who's making his second game appearance. He is 0-1. I uh, think he's a starter. All right, here we go. We got a left-hand delivery again, and it's going to be hit, and it looks like it's going to be picked up routinely by Rojas to finally get out of this inning. The score, 13-7, to and the Dodgers are putting up mad hits. Take a look at this legendary field. This is one of the baseball stadiums that I've never been to. All right, so I might actually want to check it out, but it's been modernized pretty, pretty much. I know, man. Thank you for staying along for this game. We're getting almost to the 20-minute mark. And we're at the top of the ninth, and it looks like it's going to be hit. Oh, my goodness. All the way into the corner. And that's going to be possibly three. And there it is right there. Let's see. We'll play at the back. And it's going to be safe. Trace Thompson, two doubles today. One triple. If he was hitting home runs and they get a single, we are looking at the cycle. But we don't have enough innings. This is the ninth inning. That's going to be a triple. Take a look at what we have here. We're uh, starting back at the beginning with Miguel Rojas waiting for the delivery, and that's going to be slapped in the right field, and that's going to bring in another run. That's 14-7 to for the Dodgers, and insurance runs are needed at this particular point. 20 minutes into the video, again, one of my longer baseball videos, and that's going to bring in the closer. All right, we're looking at a two-out 0-2 oh, two pitch, and the setup here is going to be delivered, and it's going to be a strikeout. Game over. All right, I know you thought it wouldn't end, but it ended. 
and we ended with a win. One of these days, I'll show you me losing. But look at the pictures, man. They had a good time, man. Everybody had hot bats. And we got the player of the game coming up here soon. 14 to 7. Dodgers, 24 hits, no errors. Cubs, 7 hits, 10. 7 runs, 10 hits. And Clayton Kershaw improves to 4 and 0. Oh. Player of the game, Max Munsey, 2 home runs, 3 for 5. And there goes Kershaw with all those strikeouts.